we're now on day two of decluttering. Yay! <laughs> just to give you an update. I'm gonna do this rack and that rack because I've decided I just want to get them completely cleared and move on to kind of like the non-fitnessy stuff. I'm wearing this for now because it seems to be the most practical. I'm just wearing a dress that I can get on and off really easily for when I start trying stuff on and just a cardigan over top because it's a little bit colder today. Pretty basic, just more isolation clothing, aka loungewear all the time. So these are all of the items from the training basics range, like all the tops that I think I'm going to want on hand. So I'm gonna put these away in the closet. Anything that's colored, I still might wear. All of that's gonna go in the drawer for now. And again, let me know if you guys wanna see a review on this. This is like Gymshark's basics range. So I think it's called training basics and it's just, it's the lowest price point. So it's the most affordable things that Gymshark sells. This is a Lululemon jacket that I think I'm going to sell. So I'm gonna eventually sort through everything that I'm gonna put up on Depop or something similar. I'm not really sure because I find that with Depop, people only wanna buy things if they're like two pound or like five pound and they haggle for really low prices that are kind of unrealistic. It's just not worth your time if you like put up like a hundred pound Lululemon jacket and it sells for like 10 pound or something. So um, I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do with that, but eventually I will be selling things like this and as I mentioned, like higher quality things from my wardrobe that I no longer want anymore. So I'll keep you guys in the loop with that. But if there's anything that you see in this video that you're interested in that I said I'm giving away, then just let me know. Yay, it's all cleaned off. Okay, let's move on to the other rack. So this hoodie is an example of something that I think is really, really nice. I think a lot of people would like it, but I just don't wear hoodies myself. So this is going to be filed away in the backup Gymshark storage for in case it goes on sale or I wanna talk about it in the future. So I'm gonna put that away. I really love these Gymshark bottoms. I think they're called the Pippa training joggers and I have them in black, which I wear all the time. And I just kind of forgot about these. I'm gonna put these in my loungewear drawer so that I remember to wear them. This is obviously not gym clothes. This is a very, very cute corset. I love how this looks. I did take a picture in it and put it on Instagram, but I'm just concerned with the practicality of it. I don't know if I would feel like super comfortable wearing this out to brunch. Definitely not here, probably not even in the summer. It's something that I would maybe potentially wear on holiday, but I still think probably not. And I think my attachment to it is just mostly because I think it's cute and Instagram-y. So I think this might be something that I would sell because I feel like someone would love this. This top I did actually wear in the winter time for a meal out with friends. I actually really like it. It's a nice going out top. I don't really do a whole lot of going out though. I'm not sure about this one. I might just put this to try on later when I'm cleaning out the other part of my closet, like the fashion type stuff. And pretty much the same with this, although this is more wintry. So if I did want to sell it, I would just wait until next fall to sell that one. So I think I'll try it on again though and make a decision. I love this style of top. I think this is the training basics range as well. And this is the type of cover up slash sweater slash jumper, whatever you want to call it, that I actually wear when it just is a crew neck without the hood. I find these to be the most comfortable. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. Ooh, I forgot about you. Some vital seamless. Okay, so this is the section that I'm going to find really difficult to declutter because a lot of this stuff is really old and I just have had it for a long time and therefore I've developed some sort of emotional attachment to it. So let's see. I hate giving away old, old Gymshark, like stuff that reminds me of the beginning days, but I can definitely part with some of this. Even if I put stuff in the nostalgia pile, I can go through it after, but I just, I've already said how much I don't wear hoodies and I don't like hoodies, but it's just so cute. I love it so much and I just can't bear to give it away. So this is nostalgia. This I'm gonna sell on Depop. This is a Lululemon skirt from like 2015, 2016 maybe. Definitely nostalgia. So certain things I'm checking to see if they're still in stock on the website and this one is, so I'm gonna keep this one. So I'm just 
moving over all of my knits from the guest bedroom over onto this rack now because this is going to be kind of like my most used rack and this is the stuff that I was wearing before isolations. It's kind of wintry so I'm not sure if I'm going to want to switch this around during the isolation for when hopefully the weather's a bit warmer and we're allowed to go outside. <laughs> the next day so we're now on day three of decluttering we'll update you guys on what i've got done with my workout clothes because that was primarily what i was working on so this bin is now all of the gymshark that i am getting rid of because i live close to the hq gymshark has asked me to give everything back to them and they said that they would prefer to deal with it and i think what they end up doing is doing some sort of charity event with it so i'm gonna give that back to them this is all of the stuff that i'm and this is non-gymshark stuff like really nice activewear that i plan on selling on depop these are all the hangers that I cleared. I'm very proud of that. So much hanging space now. There's a little tiny bag of charity stuff and I'll show you guys the drawers that I managed to do. So I did tidy these out a little bit more and rearrange the bras. So we got, these are the newer um, low to medium support bras that Gymshark does that I love. These are the legacy bras that I love. I like having the same bra in the same area rather than doing it by color because that way I know like, well, I feel like wearing this bra today and I just pick this the color sort of thing. And these are my non on Gymshark bras here. Pretty much the same as the last time I showed you guys in the last video. Seamless bras, seamless shorts. These are all of my seamless leggings. These are all my favorite seamless leggings. And then what I was working on before was, as I mentioned to you guys, organizing all of my sort of like backup Gymshark stuff. So stuff that I don't wear as frequently, but that I still wanna have on hand if I need it. So I've decided to rather than hang up my tops to fold all of them, like all of my seamless tops, because that way they take up a little bit less hanging space, which I don't have a lot of. And this is all of my Whitney stuff, which I absolutely love, but I don't wear it as frequently just simply because it's sold out so fast and I, Sometimes I don't really like to wear things that are sold out because it can frustrate people if they're not able to get it. And then here's another drawer full of kind of like tops and things that I wanted to have folded because I don't reach for them as often. You guys might be able to notice that I was able to fit it in this set of drawers, which is my designated activewear drawers. And I did take it out of these drawers, which is really useful because now I can keep these for all of my non-Gymshark stuff. So I did get to fully empty this top drawer. Now, this is the drawer organizers that are in here. I don't think these are gonna stay here, but I just wanted to put them away in here for now. And then in the second drawer, I made this one into an area where I'm going to put all of my bathing suits and bikinis, things that I would only wear in a hot country when I'm on vacation. And that has actually been really useful so far. I still have some space here to put in some more bikinis, which I have downstairs that I showed you guys in the lounge after I unpacked from my holiday. So I still gotta put those in. And then down here, nothing has changed. It's still cluttered. I still need to declutter this today. And I still need to declutter all of these three drawers as well. And I still have to do this, which I've, I've been procrastinating doing that because I know that I have to try it on. It's not fun having to try on everything in your wardrobe, but it needs to be done. I think that that's the only way that you can properly assess what you have because our bodies change year to year and some of the stuff I haven't worn since last year. So I really need to try that on and I'm trying to motivate myself to do that right now with you guys, so. Also pretty much this entire room is cleared out now. I still have a few things on this rack that I wanna move into the closet once it's cleared out. The drying rack is empty and Maple's sleeping on the bed again. It's pretty much all cleared out, which is great. All right, I've been procrastinating for too long. I actually gotta film this. Let's go. First outfit that I've been trying on. I wore this when I went on holiday to Mykonos a few years ago. I started off with the difficult one because I do think this is really, really cute. It does definitely wrinkle really easily, but I did recently get a steamer. The thing is it does fit still, which is surprising because not a lot of things that I have from a couple years ago still fit me. I think it's really cute for a holiday set. Uh, maybe I'll keep it in case we are able to go on vacation again this summer. That would be really nice. Okay, this is a keep. Okay, so 
So here are the trousers. I put them on with a bathing suit top, like a bikini top, because I think that this is how I would wear these like on holiday. And just looking at them, I was thinking, no, they're not my style. I don't think I will want to wear these, but they fit so well. And I've kind of changed my mind now that I have them on. I do feel like they would be really cute on holiday slash vacation. And just as like a beach cover up sort of thing. So actually, I think I'm gonna keep these and I'll put them in that bathing suit holiday vacation drawer. Next up, we have this dress from House of CB. This one's definitely a no. Um, it is just way too tight. I feel like I'm bursting out of it. I could barely jump the zipper and I don't think I really like the color on me. It doesn't really go well with my skin tone and it's new with tags. So I feel like one of you guys would really like it for, because House of CB is pretty expensive and I'll obviously put it up for quite a cheaper price than it would have gone for maybe like half of the RRP. So this one is going to Depop. Okay, next up we have this top and these bottoms. So I'm trying to do two in one. So I like the top. It's kind of like a cheaper quality. It's from In The Style. I think it's cute. It's an easy to wear top. It's like a good throw on top for the summer. It looks pretty cute without being really uncomfortable. So that's a win for me. And the bottoms, they definitely need to be steamed. However, I don't think this style of bottoms looks good on me. They're called Colettes, which I didn't really discover them until I moved to the UK. I just don't think they work on me. I think my height or something, they just make me look shorter and I'd rather wear a skirt instead of like cropped trousers. So I think these are a no. I don't know if you guys would want these or not, so I might just give these to charity. Okay, so we've got this skirt, and I think this is a yes. It fits really nicely. It's really comfortable, and I think that it can be worn in a bunch of different ways. I wish it had pockets. It doesn't have pockets. It could be worn like this for maybe like on vacation or holiday, but I think I'd wear it maybe with, with not a crop top around here in the summer. Okay, I think I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse so I can get through more of this stuff. Okay, so this top. Okay, this top is an example of something that I saw on Instagram. It was, I thought it was really cool, really unique, really cute. Yeah, it's a backless dress shirt styled top. It's so weird, but I think it's so cool. It definitely does not make sense for me to keep this. I probably would never wear it. I don't know what it is about it though. I just think it's so like, cool and unique and edgy but it just isn't my style too bad all of the festivals were cancelled because i was gonna say i could sell it on depop and it would look cute for something like that but i think i'm gonna sell it anyway it's new with the tags on so i'm also just wearing a pair of ridiculously oversized <laughs> levi's i actually want to get these tailored and taken in so that they at least sort of fit on my waist like that that would be really nice okay moving on Okay, this jumpsuit is the next thing. I actually really love this. I find this to be very, very flattering on me. I just think it's super low cut. It's really only suitable for kind of like going out or kind of a special event type thing. But because of the floral print, I just don't know if, I don't know if I would want to wear it for like a formal event. I don't know. I did wear it once last year out to a movie premiere, I think, with Ben, and I took pictures in it. I don't know, it just fits so nicely and it's so difficult to find things that fit really nice. What do you guys think? Let me know. Should I keep this? Should I sell it? Should I give it away? What do you think? I kind of want to keep it just because it fits really nice and I don't know, it is really low cut. Obviously, I haven't done it up all the way. Yeah. Let me know.
Ben actually really likes this top, so I'm going to keep it for now. The only thing that makes me unsure is the fact that it's a crop top, and I'm kind of like, as I mentioned, I'm kind of moving away from crop tops. But if I'm wearing something high enough waisted and it's only just like a tiny bit of skin here, I think that's okay. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? So I finished off trying on all the things in that wardrobe and as you can see it's looking really empty So this is all the things that I'm keeping and I've got rid of all of this that was on hangers Yay, we've got things that I'm going to sell on depop here charity here. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it So now I'm going to start working on this jeans drawer Pretty much all of these I'm going to be giving away because I just don't wear jeans. They've been sat in this drawer for over a year. Okay, so as you guys saw, that's what the drawer is looking like now. It's not gonna stay like this. I'm probably gonna fold them vertically, but these are the three pairs that I'm going to be keeping. I'm not sure on these ones, but they're more of a fall winter type jeans, so I'm going to just wait until that time of year. These are all the ones that I'm going to try to sell on Depop. They're all brands that people know, so they're Fashion Nova, Levi's, and there's I think one pair of White Fox. They're all really good quality. Fashion Nova is not like the best quality, but you can't. It's really difficult to get it shipped here in the UK, and it's actually fits amazing for people who've got small waists and like bigger glutes. I feel like you guys are gonna want to shop those ones. This is shorts, which I will sell as well. And these two are going to charity. These three, I'm gonna try on and see if I wanna keep them or not. They don't look bad, they look pretty cute. They're just really tight around the quads, which I find to be pretty uncomfortable. See, these are Fashion Nova and you just can't get jeans anywhere else, in my opinion, that are this high-waisted. I just find them very, very flattering. They fit you properly everywhere else, which they actually fit my waist and my bum, which is great. Just doing the sit test. I find a sit in. It's just like around my lower quad area and my knee area that they're a bit tight. These are the white jeans and these are Topshop Joni jeans and I don't know if you guys can notice but they are definitely lower waisted especially in the back than the Fashion Nova ones. I'm definitely not going to be keeping these. They look a little bit see-through. You can even see my nude underwear through them and the tag so I think I'm gonna give these to charity. And these were the black jeans. Can you guess whether these are Fashion Nova or if they're Topshop Joni jeans? These are actually American Apparel, and I bought these in probably like 2014 when I was in university. They do fit really, really well, and they're really comfy, and I'm just a bit bloated right now. But if anything, I'm just going to keep them for nostalgia reasons. But the quality is really nice, and you can tell that Topshop and Fashion Nova were inspired by American Apparel, like disco pants and disco jeans. These were my original pair of high-waisted jeans, and they changed my life, so... I don't think I can just let them go. <laughs> just moved all of the clothes that were in the closet in the second guest bedroom into this room on this rack so that I don't have to keep going between each room as I go through all of these clothes. <sighs> this is the last large amount of clothes that I need to declutter. So once I get through this, I'm gonna feel really good. Oh, I really don't wanna do it, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna get through it. <sighs> okay guys, so I'm gonna go through this one by one. Okay, so first off, we have a denim skirt. I'm not sure about this. I'm gonna have to try it on. It's kind of my only denim skirt. So I'm gonna put that to the back to try on. Then I've got these denim shorts, which are actually a really good length. These are vintage Levi's. I really like these ones. Again, I'm gonna have to try these on because I'm not sure if they still fit. Oh, everything's just really tight. I'm not gonna lie. 
definitely need to continue this cut. If not, just to feel a little bit more comfortable in my clothes. I really do fluctuate in weight over the winter and I do sort of shed the weight without trying every single year, but we'll see. I might hold on to things that are a tiny bit tight, like these Levi's that you guys just saw me try on and, and these Levi's shorts that I'm wearing, just because they're vintage and they're really, really tough to get a hold of. We've got another pair of Levi's, vintage Levi's again, and I'm also not sure if these fit, so I need to try them on. We got a pair of white fox jeans. They're kind of like a faded mom jean. Oh, not sure about these ones. I do really like them. I remember them fitting really well, but because I have the Levi's and I very, very rarely wear jeans. I feel like I wear jeans most in the springtime though. I'm gonna try them on. And then we've got this denim jumpsuit. I don't wear a lot of denim, as I said. Hmm. I'm gonna imagine this outfit. I think I remember this fitting pretty well. I think I'm gonna have to try this on as I knew I'd have to try a lot of this stuff on. I'm just trying to narrow it down as I go along. Next up, I have this, which is like another little corset top. <sighs> what is with my obsession with corset tops? I just think that they're really cute. I used to be really into fashion history. Actually, I still am. You know, when you just have that random hobby slash pastime and you learn about it on the side. I watch a lot of like fashion historian YouTube videos. But anyway, I just really like reimagined corsets and I think that's why, but they're just so unpractical and I'm not the fashionista type who's gonna like wear this layered over like some Thing else so I think this one is gonna be Depop still has tags on I think I think it's Topshop Ooh. next up we have this dress this is a very very pretty satin I was planning on selling this one it's a very very pretty 90s inspired dress it kind of reminds me of this dress that my older sister wore to prom except hers was in like a pale blue color very pretty i do love this dress though i don't know what if i want to keep it hmm. realistically i don't think i'm gonna wear it so i think that is a sell Ooh, next up i have a dress. I remember this being a little bit too big for me, although very cute. So I think this, I'm going to sell this. Yes, I think this is Depop. I think it's Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters, so the quality is very nice. This is a really cute jumpsuit, which I did wear last spring and I got decent wear out of it. It's ASOS and I think the quality is pretty decent. It's got an open back, but I don't think that this fits in with my style anymore. So I think I'm gonna sell it. Ooh, we've got a, another t-shirt dress, but this one actually has ties. And I think this would be a really good loungewear dress, so I'm gonna keep that. This is a cotton poplin shirt dress from ASOS that I got last year. Did not wear it, really needs a steam. It's very, very wrinkly. I might try that one on. We've got a slip dress. I don't think I ever wore this. No, I didn't. Hmm. I think that one I'm gonna give away. We have a, another misguided bodysuit. I don't know if you guys watched my previous video of decluttering, but I did have a couple of these and I said how misguided knits are very, very high quality for the price. I actually think misguided is a high street brand that has pretty decent quality compared to others that are of similar price point. So yeah, I do really like them, especially for their knits and they hold up in the wash as well but i have decided that body suits are not for me that i'm gonna sell got a one shoulder top here it's in a cotton jersey material which i'm not the biggest fan of cotton jersey because i find it can look really cheap and especially it doesn't hold up in the wash very well a lot of the time hmm. i do think that this would be cute for spring but i just don't know about one shoulder tops i feel like one of my arms would get cold practically speaking <laughs> not sure the skirt's a bit too small so i think it needs to go but otherwise really cute. A black jersey top. I feel like this would be fine for loungewear. We've got a pretty little thing top. Very, very bad quality. <laughs> this is cherry. We've got a long sleeve white fox crop top. Again, I'm not one for crop tops anymore, so I'm going to sell this one. I think the quality is really nice. I find white fox to be pretty consistently good quality. It is at a higher price point, but I do find that you get what you pay for it most of the time. Ooh, this is a pretty little thing top, but I remember that the quality is actually pretty decent on this one. It is a crop top though, but I'm wondering if I could get away with it wearing it with that skirt that I showed you guys earlier, the white brodery skirt that I showed you guys earlier. They might be okay together in a matching set, so I might just try this one on. Ooh, we've got this top. This is actually part of a little beach set. I should have brought that on my last holiday. And this top is very tiny. It's cute and it's flattering. 
I'm not sure. <sighs> Almost done. Here is the matching skirt. So I think I'm gonna put these two away together. We've got a little sort of bra top. This is really cute, really good quality. It's from Urban Outfitters, I think. Never really wore it. And I think I'm going to sell it on Depop. Ooh, we've got a long sleeve rotary top. This one never actually really fit me properly. It's a little bit too big. So I think I might sell this one. Or should I charity it? A lot of the things like this, I don't feel like it's worth that much money. So if I'm only gonna sell it for five or 10 pound, sometimes it's just not worth the time the effort of like uploading all the photos and that sort of thing so it's tough to say i think i'm gonna depop this one for now and maybe i'll change my mind later this is a cotton jersey dress i think this is good for beach or for loungewear in the summer so i'm gonna hang on to this one this is a pretty tried and true dress for me. It's brodery and it's got tie straps. I did order a kind of expensive one today. It's that Zimmerman, I know, very bougie. And it's very similar to this one. So I'm gonna wait till that comes in and compare them and see which one I prefer because I don't know, the Zimmerman one was very expensive. So I have to be very impressed by it to keep it. I did have a discount that I used by the way. So that's how I buy things that are like very expensive. I save them to Shoptagger. This is not an ad or a sponsored video but i honestly would do a sponsored video with them because i find their service like very invaluable and it's free anyway you guys should check it out if you want to start buying more expensive things like less fast fashion and more higher quality items um you can sort of save them and then the app will notify you when it goes on sale or when it's restocked that sort of thing so i'll try this one on and see what i think of it don't mind my bra i didn't feel like taking it off but this dress is just so cute and it's so classic looking. I think even if it's for like a more casual sort of around the house thing, I definitely want to hold on to it. I've got a thread. See, this is the problem with high street stuff. Even if it looks really cute and it looks like high quality when you first see the item or the first few washes, after two to three washes, I find that's when it just starts falling apart. Ooh, okay, so we've got another cotton jersey type dress. I remember this one to be very flattering. It's definitely good to keep or at least lounge wear at home for in the summer. So that is a heat. Okay, next up we have a matching set i think i'm going to need to try this one on so it comes in a little set like this i bought this last summer actually and i never got a chance to wear it i remember being very disappointed i bought it during a heat wave and then when the heat wave was over there's like no way that i could possibly wear this because it's just it's honestly like cold all summer here in the uk i don't really understand it but <laughs> anyways i'm like spoiled by canadian summers because like honestly canadian summers are really good but yeah so this i'm gonna try on i think here is this set on. I feel like from far away it looks pink, but it's actually white with little red and green floral print. And this is very, very cute. I really, really like this. It's definitely only for like very warm weather or taking it on holiday with me. So I might put it in that drawer over there so that I don't forget about it the next time that I'm packing. I love the detail of it. I like the ruching on the skirt. So this is a keep. <sighs> I'm really unmotivated to do this. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am trying to power through. Halfway through, let's go. Ooh, okay. So next up I have this matching set, which I bought last year. This was kind of my first entry into sort of a more classic style. It's obviously quite summery and casual, but the little set is very cute. I think I'm gonna try to wear it again this summer and see how I do. It obviously needs to be steamed. It's looking pretty wrinkly. And then I'll decide from there if it still looks good on me. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna keep that though and I'm not gonna try it on. Okay, next up I have a top from House of CB. This is a very cute top. Mm -hmm. I could see myself wearing this on a hot summer's day, even if it's on holiday. And if we have to go away, I think I'm gonna wear this again. I found it to be very flattering and it has enough coverage, I think on a, on a warmer day for me to feel comfortable wearing it, even in a more casual sort of setting. So I think I will hold on to this one. What would I wear it with though? I would wear this with white trousers. That would be nice, like wide leg trousers, but they'd have to be high-waisted enough. We'll see. Next up, I have this little peach mini skirt. I don't really wear mini skirts that often. This was very tight and it did kind of ride up a lot. Hmm. And I wore it with the top that I just showed you guys and it was a very cute outfit. We It was for the Gymshark summer party last year. So it worked for that sort of thing, but I don't really go out that often and I'm not sure what I would wear with this. Hmm. Probably wear it with something with a little bit more coverage, probably a white top, but I don't know if that's kind of a stretch or not, if I would actually wear that. 
It's very similar to the purple dress that I showed you guys earlier. Hmm, I think this one I'm gonna sell on Depop. Next up, I have this little top from Opali. It's another corset style top, but it's got little cap sleeves. This one is very, very flattering. I think that I'm gonna say goodbye to it though. I've never worn it. And mm, yeah, I think that I need to move on from this, this style of top. It's a little bit too revealing and I don't feel the most comfortable wearing it. I think I've kept the House of CV top. I think I'm gonna sell this one. Next, I have two linen dresses. I wore this type of dress a lot last summer so I bought a lot of them near the end of the summer when they went on sale did not have time to wear them I need to try these two on and see if they still fit Next up, we have this dress. This is one of the linen dresses that I showed you guys, and I think this one is pretty cute. It is a little bit loose on the back here, so I'd have to get it tailored in on the sides, but otherwise, I think it's a very nice casual summer dress option for something just to throw on, so I think I'm gonna keep this one. This is the second linen dress, and although I do think it is very pretty, very cute not to keep using that word i know it's annoying but i don't know how else, how else to describe a little summer dress i just don't think that the design with the sort of like under bust seam is really as flattering on me as the previous dress that i showed so i think out of the two dresses this is the one that i'm going to sell basically i would wear a bra with this because it's got an open back it is really nice but i think that given the choice of the two dresses i'd probably choose the last one we've got a cute pair of linen shorts i think i need to try these on to see if they still fit and are worth keeping Okay, here's this little cropped cardigan. It's like a knit cropped button front cardigan. And here are the linen shorts. I didn't think I was gonna wanna keep either of these, but when I tried them on together, I just think it's a really cute outfit. It's really casual and nice, and it's probably pretty good for summer. The only thing I'm not sure of is the cropped cardigan. As I mentioned, I was kind of getting away from crop tops, but I think I might hang on to these two and maybe wear them together in the summertime if it gets warm enough for shorts, that is. Here's a little cotton broidery shirt top. I do really like this. I love the way that it fits, but I remember every time I was wearing it, I kept wishing that it was white. It's kind of in like a natural off-white color, which is cute for linen. For whatever reason, I'm not a huge fan of that color in this style of top. I think this is Depop. Hey, I've got a little linen skirt. I just don't feel like this is my style anymore. I must have worn it once and that's it. Ooh, we've got a black tie-up top. I tried this on earlier in the light pink color and I decided not to keep it. This with a black silk skirt would be cute though and I do have a black silk skirt that it would go nicely with. So I think I might keep this for now, but I feel like I don't know if I would eventually wear it. We'll have to see. I think I'll keep it for now. We've got another puff sleeve crop top from In The Style. Still got a tag on it. I think this one is a deep pop. Next up, I got a pair of linen trousers. These are very high quality. I bought them from a what designer brand like kind of an indie designer brand from new york it's called the frankie shop and they're just that really really cute like menswear style trousers i'm gonna have to try these ones on i bought them last summer i believe we've got a cotton poplin skirt from house of cv great quality never got a chance to wear this i'm gonna try to wear this this summer we've got this long midi dress from asos it's a very nice quality considering it's asos I haven't washed it yet though so you never know i think i'm gonna give this a chance this summer it's a very romantic pretty looking dress so I'm gonna give that one a try so I really like this dress I think the cut of the top is really nice and it does fit pretty well I think the only issue that I have is that it's quite long it's almost like a maxi dress on me and so I would prefer if it was more of a knee length at most so I think I may get it tailored a bit shorter because everything else I love about the dress. And next up, I have this dress from ASOS. It's like a high neck shirt ruffle skirt. Very much reminds me of like a designer dress. So either Zimmerman or Isabel Moran or some of the brands that you'd see on Revolve as well. I do really like this. I just remember it didn't really fit me that well. I'm not really sure why I decided to keep it. It's still got the tags on and everything. So I'm going to sell this one on Depop. Next up, I got this knit dress. This is also from Misguided. I do love a Misguided ribbed knit material. Honestly, highly recommend if you guys are looking for like more knitwear type pieces at an affordable price. But with this one, I know this one fits. I bought it, I think in the fall time, but it got too cold to wear it because it's obviously sleeveless. So I think I'm gonna hang on to this. This one is a really good summer to fall transitional type piece. So yes, I'm gonna hang on to this for next year. And the last two things on this rack are this pair of really 
dark, almost black charcoal gray trousers from Zara. Kind of like the menswear inspired trousers. And I have this velvet skirt from House of CB. I bought this one to potentially wear for the Gymshark Christmas party, but I never ended up wearing this one. Still got the tags on and I think I'm gonna hold on to it for next winter as well as these trousers. And I'll try them on when it gets closer to that time of year because it's, they're just not practical now. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna show you guys the aftermath. It's like a big, huge pile on my little ottoman in the center of the room. I'm gonna sort all this stuff into each of their categories and then I'm gonna try on the stuff that I said that I would try on. Let's go. So this is the aftermath. I'm gonna have to sort all this out. That's the remaining things I'm gonna keep hung up. And this is the pile of things that I'm gonna try on. And then this is the Depop pile. Yes, so I'm gonna throw all that, fold it up nicely actually, and put it in this bin and hang up the things that I know I'm gonna keep for next year in the closet. Those are the pieces I've already decided I'm going to keep. I think I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse for the try on. So hopefully that's okay with you guys and you don't find it too boring. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this video in the comments down below. I really appreciate your guys' feedback. I read pretty much every single comment on my last video. It didn't get that many views. I'm not sure. It seems like views are down in, on YouTube in general, especially for things that aren't like a follow along workout, which I do plan to do by the way. So hopefully that can be the next video after this one. Don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy it because that will really help me and hopefully will get me back onto the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> that would be really good. And don't forget to subscribe as well if you want to hang around for a follow along workout video. I'll definitely do mine more hypertrophy style not like an HIIT workout although I do think those are good they're just not my personal favorite or my personal specialty so it will most likely be a glute workout because that's what I really like to do anyways I'm getting sidetracked So this is everything that was on the downstairs rack. So I know I'm gonna keep everything on this rack, but I'm just gonna sort it into clothing that I'm not going to wear for a while. So either it's occasion wear that I'll only wear like for a special event sort of thing, if I'm going on a date night, which I just wouldn't usually wear. So yeah, anything like that is going to go into the second guest bedroom, which is the room just over here. And everything that I'm going to reach for kind of on a regular basis is going to be divided between this closet here and that rack over there in the corner. What I'd really like to do is avoid having clothes in other rooms. Like I have this whole entire room and I just feel like it, I'm not using it very efficiently at all. And I avoided getting built-in wardrobes or spending kind of like a lot of money on wardrobes for a long time thinking that like we were considering maybe moving. But now I just feel like it's been disorganized for way too long. It obviously leads to more clutter and me forgetting like what I have and where I have it. So I decided this morning I'm just gonna bite the bullet and I'm going to order Ikea wardrobes. So I spent all morning designing my Ikea wardrobes and then when I went to check out it said that they're actually not delivering certain items because I think they're limiting it to one person per delivery and so therefore they can't deliver any larger items that require two people because of what's going on right now. Obviously I understand but it was a bit disappointing to spend a couple hours designing my wardrobe and then realize that I'm gonna have to wait. So <laughs> I know I can literally hear the world's tiniest violin play in the background but yeah it's just like it feel like stuff like this is probably happening to a lot of us where you want to be productive but other things are sold out or you can't get the things that you want so yeah I'm just gonna keep going and try to declutter as much as possible so that's definitely something that we can all do while we're stuck at home that and exercise so I'm gonna make sure that I am productive as much as I possibly can and try to like stop thinking about all of the limitations because it was getting me down just kind of feeling really stuck like I couldn't do a whole lot but I'm trying to remind myself that there is lots that can be done and to try to see this whole thing as a blessing rather than a curse. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the wardrobes that I designed because I'm very proud of them and you guys can let me know what you think. But this is what I came up with. Okay, so this is this wall right here. So this is the corner, like I don't know how to describe it, but this is the back corner of the room and the back wall. My mirror is there for now and then the window is here. So if you look at this, you can imagine the window is over here and my little activewear drawers are right here. So this is 
designed to fit the room specifically, so I put in my room measurements. You guys can do this on ikea.com if you want to too. Maybe if you're bored and you're looking for something to do. So this space here actually perfectly fits my makeup mirror and my makeup desk. So that's gonna fit in that little space right there. And then I also will have all of this space in this wardrobe. And I'm going to be changing this door for a white door, which I know is a bit excessive, but I found when I did have my mirror on this side of the room where the rack is, in the background you could see the door and I sort of blended into the door when taking a picture, which I didn't really like. Whereas on this side, I really like that I have the white background, but it's just not practical to have all of that space along that wall without any clothing storage at all. And I can't really do that on the wall with the door because the door needs to open and close. So it just makes the most sense to sort of have a selfie station <laughs> over there. So that's what I'm going to do. This whole room is sort of just like a box shape. I feel like if I arrange it properly, I can make it a lot more efficient for storage, especially. So yeah. Okay, now to sorting these clothes. This is one of the dresses that I was talking about, but this obviously isn't something that I'm going to need on a day-to-day -day basis. clothes are officially done yay so now i'm gonna move on to finishing decluttering these drawers right in front of me if you guys remember i still have this drawer to do i think two of these drawers so this one full of knitwear this one full of some knits and some random things and then i already decluttered the jeans but i'm just gonna rearrange them and i think the winter knits are gonna go down here I finished up decluttering and reorganizing as much as I possibly could the drawers and that was the last thing that was on the list of things to do I've completely decluttered all of my clothes I feel so good so cleansed and renewed I'm so happy with how everything's turned out and I just feel like lighter and I think that's the way that you're supposed to feel when, when you've decluttered mission accomplished I'm really excited to show you guys my room now this isn't obviously gonna be the final product because I really really want to get the sort of like built in ikea wardrobes which i'm gonna have to wait to get until after isolation but that's something to look forward to i'm really excited for that i'm gonna finalize my designs because i did switch it up a little bit since i showed you guys yesterday so if you're interested in seeing a little bit more of that in the future let me know but i'm really enjoying doing these these type of videos because this is currently what is my like what i'm kind of interested in on the side of fitness and that sort of thing like i really want to call and hone in my wardrobe and make it as minimal as possible while still feeling like good in the things that I wear and feeling like put together and not feeling like wearing gym clothes all the time because that's the only part of my wardrobe that I have in check if that makes sense so yeah anyway without further delay I'm gonna show you guys the room oh, I'm so excited I hope you guys like it and I hope that you enjoyed following along in this decluttering journey looking like right now. I'm just wearing Adidas crop zip up sweater and I'm wearing my Gymshark speed leggings which I totally forgot about these but I've been doing a lot more cardio since isolation and these are definitely my favorite leggings for cardio and for running. I went on a little run the other day. I know look at me. <laughs> So yeah, I highly recommend these leggings if you're looking for kind of an all-purpose legging and one that's good for running and cardio. So I came over here to show you that this is the corner that I'm going to be looking out of. So if I stand in this corner here, this is what the room is looking like. Oh, it's so empty. It feels weird. 
as you guys can see, I've totally decluttered the surface of these drawers and the windowsill and I wiped them down and it looks so pretty. This rack is a lot more minimal here. I put my mannequin lady <laughs> over here. The reason why I have this is so that if I want to steam a garment, I can steam it on her rather than hanging. It can be like difficult sometimes to get like the sides and stuff. And it's also nice to display like if you have a nice piece of jewelry or something, I don't know, but I just think she's cool. And if you go over to this wall, we have my set of drawers here, which I still need to declutter those a little bit. Okay, and then I've decluttered my dressing room mirror. She's looking so clean. The mirror is kind of gross and I tried cleaning it as much as possible, but I ran out of like window cleaning solution. So I was, I was literally using malt vinegar and paper towel to try to clean it off as much as possible. So this is what we have now. I'm gonna have to order some Windex. This is the stuff that I'm giving away, which I'll go over in a little bit. And then if we come over to this side, we have my closet, which in my opinion is looking nice and organized. You've got my workout tops over here and then some sort of my everyday fashion here if I wasn't in isolation, but I wanted to have it all organized for after the quarantine. We've got hangers and baskets neatly at the bottom. We've got a pretty empty top shelf. And then if we move over here, my neat drawers, a couple baskets on top. And I left this here because this won't be staying here, but yeah, it's where I'm like keeping my giveaway stuff for now. And that's it. Again, this is some stuff that I'm giving away here. And then here's my totally clear ottoman. I wonder how long that's gonna last. Hopefully longer than last time. So that's it. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff that I'm giving away. So between those two, I feel like I've decluttered a lot of stuff. Okay, that's officially it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you found it satisfying or motivating to watch me declutter all of my clothes. I definitely have more things to clean and declutter. I still need to clean my office downstairs, but I decided I'd leave that for another video. So if you guys are still not sick of seeing this type of content, let me know and I will continue to do more videos like that. I'm thinking of maybe doing my next video as a vlog where I show kind of like bits of fitness, bits of what food I'm eating, Eating and maybe a little bit more cleaning and decluttering. So if you guys like that idea, again, let me know in the comments. I love reading your guys' comments and you've really made my day and motivated me with all of your comments on my last video. Even though it didn't get that many views, I think the YouTube algorithm just really didn't like me on that video. So I think that's all I have to say. I will be doing giveaways as you guys saw, all of this stuff. So I can go through that and maybe do a giveaway in my next video. I just kind of want to get this video up now because it's been delayed. So, so yeah, look out for the next one for that. Thanks again for watching and I'd really appreciate if you like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!